Hello, and welcome back to this week's Patch Notes. Greetings, adventurers. This week we bring something designed to help you cool off in this summer heat. Swimwear for both male and female classes have been added. These hot outfits are sure to keep the summer fun going all season long. We've also tweaked the Termian Water Park to fix a few issues and streamlined some of the events. Hopefully this will be even more enjoyable than before. We appreciate your continued support and strongly encourage you to continue to give us your valuable feedback. The Ferocious Nine Shark that appears during Termian Water Park has been edited. The Ferocious Nine Shark's HP has decreased by 30%. When hit by the Ferocious Nine Shark, the stun effect will no longer be applied. Attack range of the Ferocious Nine Shark has been increased. Fix the issue where the Nine Shark hunting ship would rattle much. Nine Shark hunting ship will now depart 5 minutes after the Ferocious Nine Shark has appeared. The hunting matchlock deals the most damage against the Ferocious Nine Shark, and the Nine Shark hunting ship appears in the eastern coast of Termian Water Park when the Ferocious Nine Shark spawns. The exact location of the Nine Shark hunting ship can be checked by the Termian NPC Kahara. Summer is a special time for many people. As the snow has drifted and the birds begin to sing, all the gamers come out to play. Show off how you enjoy the summer in pursuit of the summeriest screenshot. You will be able to submit your images from July 4th up until July 15th, which is the final submission date. The staff will then release their picks from the 16th to the 18th of July, and the winner will be announced on the 18th. The event rules. The screenshots must be in the spirit of summer, whatever that means. The screenshots must be 1920 by 1080 canvas or in greater resolution. The player must provide their correct region and family name in the post. The image must be posted on either Facebook or Twitter on your own page, set to public and include the following. A hashtag of hashtag BDO Summer 18 and the tag of Black Desert official accounts. The screenshots cannot be edited in any way in external software outside of the game, and failure to abide by any of the above rules may result in voiding your eligibility to be selected as a winner. While summer means different things to different people, the community management staff will use their discretion in deciding a winner. There will be a total of 30 winners to be announced through the forums and prizes will be delivered by the following maintenance. The top 5 entries will get a value pack worth 90 days. The top 30 entries will receive a settlement pack, which includes a 7-day value pack, a 7-day sealed book of combat, a 7-day combat blessing, a 100G gold bar, and 10 weapon and armor blackstones. For July 4th, there will be fireworks. During the fireworks event, fireworks will light up in the skies of Heidel, Calfian, and Valia. You can also purchase your own fireworks through the Pearl Shop for a limited time, and these will also be available in the Loyalties tab. The event period is for July 4th, and these are the corresponding times that the fireworks will be shown. Do note that the Golden Gold event has ended. Swimwear settings have been added. When wearing swimwear, the underwear settings button will be turned into the swimwear settings button. When you change from swimwear to underwear, swimwear settings will be deactivated and be turned back into the underwear setting button. When swimwear settings are deactivated, other adventurers will be able to see your character's swimwear in safe zones and in the water. If you leave the safe zone or water, swimwear settings will be automatically deactivated. When swimmer settings is activated or deactivated, it will take approximately 10 seconds for the change to appear for other adventurers. Two new social actions have been added to the game, the investigate and quiet action. You can check the conditions for using the social actions in the escape menu. We have fixed the issue where accuracy effects were not being properly implemented on skills that require the use of summoned creatures. We discovered that the accuracy effect of the summoned creatures was not totally fixed even after having the accuracy revisions for all classes last week, and fixed the issue with this maintenance, and a link to describe more details will be included in the description down below. The damage inflicted by skills consuming 100% of the Black Rage has been amended, and those details will also be included down below. Super Armor Effect has been added to the motion for absorbing Black Spirit's Rage through Rage Absorption. You will now recover 0.15% Black Spirit's Rage per second. Black Spirit's Rage now has a 100% chance of increasing by 0.1% per damage to your character, compared to before when it had a 10% chance of increasing by 1%.
Do note that you will no longer see the effects that occur when other adventurers have 100 or 200% Black Spirit's Rage. To allow you more freedom in choosing the sail gear best suited to your personal tastes, new sailboat gears have been added. Additionally, the specs for existing sailing gear items have been improved. More details on that will be included in the description down below. You can now exchange fairy wings for sweet honey wine via the new NPC Celine instead of Feia at the Kama Silv Temple. Celine will be located on the right of Heroin, the Kama Silv Temple Chancellor. The HP of world boss monsters will now be shared in all servers. Adventurers in all servers will now be fighting the same world boss. As before, participation for defeating the boss and items looting will be per server. World boss monster used to appear per server. This meant that when a boss appeared and many adventurers gathered in one server, there would be lagging. However, servers with too few adventurers had trouble defeating the boss. Now, the HP of the world boss monsters will be shared throughout all servers. No matter which server you are on and how many people are fighting beside you in the server, with the help of everyone, you should be able to defeat the boss smoothly. And do note that you can now change servers when a world boss monster has appeared. A new option to change vision range will be available and you will be able to have a wider perspective when battling some of the world bosses. There are still specific combat changes and details in this week's patch notes. A link in the description will be included. Thank you for tuning in to your trusted weekly news source.